this has been a day that this family has been waiting for for nearly 58 years. A lot of emotions as state police announced they now know who killed a nine year old girl back in 1964. It is justice for little Marie Shiverella, and it's our top story on Newswatch 16 at 5. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm John Meyer. And I'm Lisa Washington. Marie Shiverella was walking to school in Hazleton when she was kidnapped, raped, and murdered. One of the most shocking crimes ever in our area. And today, state police said they know who did it and explained how they cracked this case. We are continuing today's coverage with Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace live in Hazel Township. Amanda. Good evening, John and Lisa. That is correct. After nearly 50 eight years of looking for Maurice and Chivarella's killer, state police say this is the man. His name is James Paul Fort. He's the one who kidnapped, raped and murdered her back in 1964. Flowers lay on this tiny grave inside the St. Joseph Slovak Roman Catholic Cemetery in Hazleton. It's the gravesite of Maurice Ann Chivarella, a nine year old who was raped and murdered in March of 1964. The man that killed her was never found until now. Now that we know the individual, it, it, it gives us a sense of closure, not full closure, we'll never have that, but a sense of closure that we know the individual that did it. It, 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 in that the individual isn't out committing the same crime and hurting other young uh, girls like Maurice. During a news conference, police say James Paul Fort was the man who kidnapped Maurice off the street while she was walking to school. Investigators say Fort was 22 years old when he sexually assaulted and killed Maurice, dumping her body in a strip mine pit in Hazel Township hours after she went missing. Investigators say they used DNA profiles and genetic genealogy that eventually led them to Fort. We're always told not to get attached to a case. But uh, you can't help it. This is Maurice's story. And what happened to her ushered in a change in this community. Whether you like it or not, the way you lived changed after March 18th of 1964 in Hazleton. Maurice was all but nine years old when she died, and her family tells Newswatch 16 they never lost hope of finding who killed her. Given the persistence of the Pennsylvania State Police, my sense was always somehow, some way, they're going to find the, the, the person. Fort died in 1980 of natural causes, so he won't be prosecuted, but police hope this still brings some justice. This has been a day that this family has been waiting for for nearly 58 years. And as the lieutenant said, even though we couldn't bring charges against Mr. Fort, I, I hope that this brings some type of closure for your family. I really do. And now police believe that Fort has committed many more crimes. If you have any information, you're being asked to call State Police Hazleton. For now, Amanda Eustace, Amanda Eustace excuse me, Newswatch 16 reporting live in Luzerne County.